Hello, 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 guys. How are we doing? I'm doing very well because the OTC market was very, very great today. Aside from that, though, we indeed do have ourselves another Vancouver-Toronto game. So, naturally, I'm hurting inside. But, after seeing the ten beautiful people here in the chat, hey, I think I'm feeling a lot better. Al, first, last, Alexandre de Rosier, Hockey Kid, Cliff... Michael, Braden, how are you guys doing? Feels good to be here. I'm over here trying to sell these hut cards. I have so many Jack Roslovics and Christian Dvorak. So if anybody wants to go out there and uh, buy this stuff, feel free to do that. It costs 1738 coins per card, which I think is a pretty okay price. But I will say I got them for cheaper, so I am trying to make a profit. That's kind of how you work the market, eh? Buy and sell. See if you can get somebody who actually buys it. I sold the Tim Stutzla 83 overall card for 6969, which was really good because that's not even worth that amount. It's worth like 1,500, that Stutzla card that I got. It was the primetime one. But yeah, um, we're over here. Hey, y'all, can I put out a not-so-hot take that y'all might disagree with? Is it going to be the I'd rather have Quinn Hughes not on the team take? Because I disagree. I think I think that even though he is poor defensively, if you're expecting him to be a shutdown defenseman, then you're going to be disappointed. But I'd rather have him because he's very, very talented offensively. But let's hear it, Al. Let's hear it. Is Sean, score prediction, 8-2 Leafs. Tariq, what's going on, man? How are you doing? So how bad are the Canucks on... Their loss today. Who knows? They're going to be... Hopefully, they'll be okay. But I don't really know. Leafs for the Canucks today. I'm going to go... I'm, I'm going to go Leafs. Probably going to go Leafs. Looks like we're going to get slaughtered. Let, let's go. Ready to lose again? Yeah, me too, Rios. Samarth, how are you doing? It's all good, man. You're not late. We are six minutes in. It is all okay. This year, Myers had six points, but a plus minus of zero. Quinn has 15 and a minus 12. I want the fan base to realize the bigger problem is Quinn and not Myers. Plus minus isn't great, but it still means something. That's the thing, man. Like, I think that Quinn has such a really specific skill set that if you're expecting him to be like an absolute bona fide Norris contender, you're going to be disappointed. Because at the end of the day, even though the Norris pretty much is a points race, you still kind of have to be able to play defense, which is why I don't really think Quinn has a chance of winning the Norris this year anymore after seeing the play that he has in his own zone. But anyone out there who is saying, I'd rather not have Quinn Hughes on the team, you're missing out on a lot more assists and points in general. This team can't score already. So I don't know, like, if you take away a Quinn Hughes, this team's not going to be able to score even more. Sure, they might give up, I don't know, if you give Quinn Hughes ice time to, I don't know, a, a Hamannick who eventually returns, and a Chatfield, or maybe a Rafferty or whatever, maybe... The team lets in a few less goals because they're not getting any more giveaways. But I don't know, man. It's going to be difficult. It's a trade-off, right? Absolutely a trade-off. That's kind of how I see it. I'd rather have Quinn on the team, even though he is a negative defensively, because what he does <laughs> offensively is very good, in my opinion. But that is, a, you know, for Myers, I do think Myers has been better than last year. But he's, I don't know, I don't know, man. It's still difficult to tell if he's, like, I wouldn't say he's great. You know, like, great, great. Like, it's, so, it's really bright. Oh, my goodness. If you turn off the light there, this is really, really bright. Oh, yeah. How are we going to distribute the light here? Um, I'm kind of looking at my dashboard right now. It is very, very bright. What if we close the blinds a little? How does that look? That oh, looks a bit better. Looks a bit better. Um... R.I.P. Canucks Riptide. 8-1 to one win for the Leafs. If that happens, I'll make another video just like the last one. You know it, bud. Hopefully it's a 3 nothing loss and not 7 to nothing. I kind of want it to like be a complete blowout. Like I would not be opposed to a complete blowout just because of how the reaction would be from the fan base. And that is absolutely just like so crazy to think about, in my opinion. Can we all just agree they suck? Yeah. At this point, I hope for a change, not for a win. Cliff, I'm with you, bud. That's kind of how I see it as well. Like, the sooner we can get to change, sooner I think things will be turning around. Quinn will never win a Norris. Like, what I'm saying is the dude doesn't deserve much of a pay raise. Pedersen can get whatever he wants because he can win the heart. Hughes can't ask the same. That's the thing, though. Quinn is still only, like, 21 years old. He's going to have a lot of time to, like, really change 
And, you know, he's already being expected to be a number one today, which might be a little bit too tall of a task for a guy who's just a year off of his rookie season. But, you know, give it some time. Give it till Quinn is like 26, 27, and he actually learns how to defend properly. Sure, if he was playing with Tanev, he probably would have learned a lot quicker, but, you know, we'll see. There still are some uh, positives to look for in the long-term future. Long-term, man. That's, that's what I'm thinking about. We were all, the Cox were like, oh, we're, we want to take the next step. We want to be good this year. We want to contend for the playoffs, but nah, bro. We're thinking about the long-term future again. I need to do the math on my squad battles. So right now, we are at 68,741 battle points. If we add up the battle points of the other games, okay, so 2301 plus 2275. That one's a little bit of a downer. We've got 2293. Then we've also got a 2283. So adding all that together, our maximum total output for the day on squad battle, 77,893 points. If we do all that, assumably we get it, like, perfect, we will be first. But obviously this is, you know, this ranking changes, like, every few minutes. So what would be first uh, right now would not be first in an hour from now. So... At the very least, I do think we're in a good standing for squad battles right now. We're in the, uh, well, we ranked like 70-something. 53, yeah, we're ranked 53rd, but we still have four games available. So, yeah, you know, squad battles, well, I'll probably do that off stream a little bit later. I kind of don't really want to do it right now. I just want to talk about Canucks. If you follow TSN stats, every day there's a game and Hughes goes off. He breaks like an NHL record for defenseman. It's crazy what he's doing at his age. Yeah, that is really true. Like, that's what I said about it, man. Like, Hughes... Really not great defensively. Like, we're starting to see that right now. So far in his young career, he's got a lot to improve on in his own zone. But when the guy has the puck in the offensive zone, boy, he's just breaking records left and right. It's crazy. Canuck Spirit's already broken. I don't know if blowouts matter. Horvat doesn't deserve to see. Oh, I don't know about that. Like, if Horvat doesn't deserve to see, who would? Who would? Roberto Luongo? I'm trying to sell Shane Wright. How much should I sell him for? Is it 86 overall, 2030 card? What you should do is, Sean, go over to the market, do this and see how much it's actually going for. So, browse auctions, 2030 Shane Wreck card. I believe it's got Barrage, is that is that correct? Let's, I don't care, I, I don't know. We'll figure it out uh, sooner rather than later. Here, Shane Wright, and it's got a oh, Speedster and Thief. So there's two going up on here, one's for 53K, one's for 55K. If you wanna make your money back, or if you actually wanna get rid of it, like I'd say probably just put it up for auction at 45K and have no buy now may get expired in an hour, and I think you should be good to sell it, but, you know, it really depends. Um, Jimbo really needs to leave Gods alone, and Green needs to throw him in a lineup. Gods is a good third-line center. He needs to get in there. I agree. I, I think Gods should be in the lineup. You think Makar has a chance at the Norris, though? I think he'll be a candidate. I would not, I would not be surprised if Kale Makar was out there doing it. Besser, Captain. Boston News Source asking a DeBrusque for Vertanen deal. Yeah, I saw that. It was kind of weird. I am not really too sure how I think about that or how I feel about that. Um, we have to do our daily challenges, though. We should go ahead and do that. Um, Benning tied the team's hands with his gross overpay in the bottom six. Harmon guy wrote a great article in The Athletic. It was so good, and it's how I feel in an article. Yeah, Harmon's a very good writer, man. There's a reason they call him the boy genius. Um, hut challenge, 20 shots on goal, 20 hits. We're not going to be able to do these two in a hot challenge, but let's just do a hot challenge, then we'll do a hot rush game, just so we can get some packs and all that, we don't have anything in uh, the packs department right now, not too much hype, we'll be like 8-2 to two to the Leafs, yeah, Rasmus Sandin to debut tonight, that's cool, very big fan of Rasmus Sa or Sandin, hockey kid, Larry loves hockey, how are you guys doing, you think Beneers has a chance at number one, yeah, I do, I, I really do think Beneers has a chance at number one, he's a very, very good hockey player, so strong on the puck, so good defensively. He does a lot of things right. And I think anybody out there who is looking for but could be like a very consistent number one center. Maybe not number I don't know. Maybe like borderline 1A, 1B. A very good complimentary 1B, if not a 1A. You can get Matthew Beneers. He's a very good hockey player. I think he could go first overall. And it's because like this draft is so wide open. Like... I think if Beneers was eligible last year, he wouldn't have a chance at first, same next year, but just because this year it's so, you know, condensed, 
You have Beneers, Power, Luke Hughes, uh, Carson Lambos, Brant Clark, uh, Atu Ratsu. So many guys who could go first overall. Jesper Wallstedt, for all I care. Salty Wings and Abs fan. What's going on, man? Leaves going to destroy the Canucks. You know what got confirmed that Vertanen's on the trade market? Yep. Do you think that Fox is a Dark Horse Norris candidate? I don't even know if it's a Dark Horse, man. Like, depending on the, the, the points that the guy produces, we will see. Where do you think v Godet will go? Hopefully to the Canucks third line. That's where I would want him to go. What were, what were our goals again? I completely forgot. Uh, what was it? One minute of time on attack. Win by four goals. All right, so... Let's see if we can get that time on attack right now. We could probably score four goals a little bit later, but yeah. R.I.P. Tyler Mott, man. Yeah, that was really unfortunate to see. Tyler Mott getting sidelined. The guy already provides such a spark to the team that a lot of other members don't have. So the fact that he's going to be out is going to be very unfortunate to see. I should not have made that pass. Beneers to Detroit. That would be just so good, man. Larkin, Beneers, and who else would you have over there on center? Oh, I shouldn't have shot it. We want to get the time on attack up. Uh, Besser requested a trade. Okay, okay, cool. Thoughts on the local Vancouver kid, Kent Johnson. Kent Johnson is so, so good as a hockey player, man. Now, the thing with Kent Johnson is, like, he's... The guy's got absolutely no fear. Like, he goes out there and he tries, like, everything in his arsenal all the time. Sometimes it can be a bit much. I'll agree with that. But the thing is, Kent Johnson, at the very end of the day, he is so talented, he's so skilled. And, you know, he could probably go somewhere in the top three, depending on if a team wants to swing on the upside, because he does have a lot of it. Uh, there we go. Um, hopefully we compare Luke and Quinn together. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to work because they're both left-handed, but you know what? This Canucks team is not afraid with trying out guys on the right side, even though they are left-handed. We saw it with Ben Schmidt. I get that those guys are naturally, like, inclined towards playing on the right side, but still, there is the possibility that it could happen. I just don't really... I don't know how likely it is since they both play left. Okay. What's our time on attack at? We need to get to a minute. Is it up, is it up to a minute yet? Uh, it's up to 38 seconds. Okay, that's not terrible. Besser requested a trade. Source. Trust me, bro. <laughs> that is very, very true. Um, anyone want to trade in hot? Yes. If anybody out here is in the chat, I do still need a Marty St. Louis Master Icons. The silver card with the two uh, barrages and the two uh, workhorses... That is one of the last cards I need to actually, like, make my team, like, the way that I want it to. Oh, look at Jacob Markstrom making a save there. Nice save, bud. Um, Owen Power. Can we play a game together? Um, maybe someday Larry Loves Hockey. I will say, it's a lot more difficult for me to play games here on stream because, like, I guess I, I need to, I really need to focus because I take this game really seriously, so it's, uh... You know, even just this. This is just a pro difficulty challenge, and it's, like, kind of fine. Um, Oilers turn their season around. Luke Hughes to the Kings. Oh, boy. <laughs> that would be really interesting. Uh, can the Canucks win another hockey game that isn't against the Senators? I mean, obviously, it's possible. Like, the realist in me is like, yeah, hockey is hockey. Like, you could have so many different things happen in hockey. But, yeah. Besser is probably the only good Canuck. I mean, there are a few other okay Canucks, like Brandon Sutter, bro. That guy is so good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, what were we supposed to do? S score four goals, something like that? Okay, yeah. So let's get the empty net, and then we'll get another one on the rush afterwards. Okay. What's the first thing the Canucks should do to improve? Like, the first step towards something. Make a change. Personnel change. Something in that locker room is not going right. And it's not something that I think Travis Green or Jim Benning or whatever... Um, or, excuse me, it's not something that I think, like, any of the players can change. It's because, like, that's just kind of how... You just, like, look at how this team plays, man. There's no heart. There's no... I, I'm, I, I don't want to take a page out of Angry Rant Man here, but... There is no passion... There is no... What is it? There's no passion. There is no mindset. 
There's no passion, there's no aggression, there's no mindset with this hockey club. Something like that. That's my favorite quote of all time. I love it. You can hear this big thing outside. It's really distracting. We need to get a goal, though. In 21 seconds? I think we can go ahead and do that. It's pro difficulty computer, right? We've got Keith Kachuk out here doing his thing. Is this Keith Kachuk? I don't know. Oh, there we go. We got a goal. Beautiful, boys. I'm rooting for a loss now. Um, you know, I don't want to say I'm rooting for a loss, but I will say whatever ha whatever allows this team to undergo change quicker, you know, I'm kind of for it. So, uh, I don't know if you want to say I'm rooting for a loss too, but, uh, whatever, whatever. I saw La La Land last night again. I can't believe how gr I took that movie for granted, dude. La La Land is a masterpiece. I cannot believe how good it was. Um, do you need the bronze St. Louis or the silver? I need the silver because he's got two of each of the synergies. Uh, my team is really close to being uh, completed the way that I want it to be. So he is like the last... He is the, like, the most unattainable card that I need. All the other cards, like I'm just going to save up some coins and buy them because I can... I think it's realistic to get them in the market. But for St. Louis, that's like the more difficult one. Do you think if NHL 2K came back, you would play that over the EA game? Probably not, to be honest. It depends on how good it is. Lego have you added on PSN? Okay, that is great. Sandine gets a hat trick. I've got a card worth 65k. That is awesome. I'm going to say it right now. Pedersen is playing hard, not putting up points, but he's trying hard, which is all we can ask for. That's fair. That's fair. I think Pedersen has, like, the most, uh, what was it, like, posts out of everybody in the NHL by far, which is really not great. But you know what? At the end of the day, he's trying. Um, what's your hot team overall? Uh, here, I'll show you. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's find the, the dashboard. Where is that? Um, no passion. There's no vision. There's no aggression. There's no mindset with this. Yeah, there we go. That's what it is. I've got a Ryan Ellis worth 65k winter national. That is great. I I have that card too. I I use it on my decor on my decor. So the team overall, I don't know if you could see that. Um, let's see. Can we like how do we make this bigger? What what does that do? Oh, oh okay. No, that's not what we want to do. Um, yeah, the team overall is 91. We're 202, 77 and 10. Not amazing, but you know it's okay. Canucks are fighting Detroit for the bottom spot in the league, yeah. I took Black Panther for granted. I didn't like it at first, but the soundtrack is incredible. I was a really big fan of Black Panther when I saw it in theaters. Like, I watched it with, like, ten of my friends. And, like, half of them were like, eh, it was pretty okay. I loved it. Like, I don't know what it was. I really thought that Black Panther was amazing. I'd be okay if they win. Truly okay if they lose, yeah. Mod on IR. 10-5 Maple Leafs lead. What synergies you got active? I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, Pedersen leads with posts and bars at eight. Next close has three. Yeah, okay. What's up, Lego Sip? How are you doing? Hear about the Leafs trading for a winger rumor? Yeah, I did. I saw that. Oh, 91, you're better than me. I'm a 90. Well, I will say, um, this Wayne Gretzky card really does help. Like, it really does. I mean, my Gretzky has 53 points in 30 games, but I'm using him on the, uh, the, the second line. I'll be watching the game, but not with the same excitement as previous games. Me too, Sip. Me too. That is exactly how I'll be watching the game too. You guys wanted to see my lineup here. So the synergies we have active right now, Distributor, Shutdown, Speedster, Passing Playmaker, Magician, and Gladiator. We're two away from Barrage. I need to get Barrage done. We are so, so close. And then I also plan to have Workhorse and Wingman activated with the two cards that I want to buy, plus the... Uh, Actually, yeah, I want to buy two extra cards, and I need to get the Marty St. Louis as well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to buy that. I might have to actually just trade in collectibles for an 86 overall and hope I get St. Louis, and if I don't, then I'll be screwed, but that's kind of the plan here. Um, the last cards that I need to buy, it's the 89 Winter National Dry Sidle with Wingman and Distributor. I also need to buy the Philip Zadina 2030 89 overall with two barrages. Aside from that, though, everything else is here. Start off with the goalies. Uh, we got two tradable, 90 overall Henrik Lundqvist and 87 overall Connor Hellebuck. I got these for the synergies. This Lundqvist card, really good for me so far. Um, the Connor Hellebuck, though, I used him in champs the previous week. Uh, it's not really visible. If I Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. 
Can you even see the numbers? No, you can't really. But he's got 50 games played. He's 45 and 5 and a 287 goals against average 82 save percentage. So this Connor Hellebuck has been really really good for me. But uh, this is this card's worth about 50k ish on the market. This Lundqvist 90 overall is worth about 150k or 160, 175k. There's like four different versions of this with the Washington Capitals, the New York Rangers, and then Team Sweden, and then the Ferlunda Hockey Club as well. Um, yeah, he's got a really good number as well. But um, yeah, I got Lundqvist on here. Uh, I think somebody here mentioned that they got the uh, the 80 or the 87, uh, <laughs> Ryan Ellis, I got that too, man, it's a great card, he's been very clutch for me so far, and, uh, the two shutdown synergies, very good, in my opinion, so, yeah, we've got a lot of the, or, or defensemen over here, and then the forwards, it's okay, I need to get rid of this Zadina, man, he is the worst card on my team by far, like, 80 overall, sure, he's at, like, 100 points in, like, 200 games or whatever, because he's playing on the fourth line, but, like, yeah, he's not a great card, Probably will sell him. I got him for like 20k like a few months ago, so it was a long time ago, but whatever. Um, sorry about that, guys, though. I just gotta catch up here on the chat. Most Canucks fans are very negative because there's nothing to be positive about, bro. That's why. <laughs> um, I want to trade. What are your expectations in the game? I have no expectations, bro. What are your thoughts on the strengths and weaknesses of Chatfield, Yolevi, Rafferty, and Rathbone, and who do you think the Canucks will sign for long term? Thanks for your updates on prospects. I appreciate that, DSL. Um, Chatfield, I think he had a bad game yesterday. I think he's got more to prove. Yolevi, I think he's going to be good towards the long-term future. Rafferty, Rathbone, same thing. Who do you think the Canucks will sign long-term? Well, hopefully not Brandon Sutter, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Um, it's good that Yolevi is back. Callie Yarncrow lead the league in points with 125 in NHL 19. Yeah, that's weird. I would activate Distributor or Spark 2. That's why I'm trying to activate. Yeah, I have Distributor active. I, it's just, I don't have any cards that have Spark. Like, if I needed to do, if I wanted to do Spark, I would have to start out from zero. I don't have anything for Spark in... Actually, no, I do have one card for Spark. Here, I'll show you. It's, uh, it's in my goaltenders right here. This Connor Hellebuck, though, has three synergies. So, yeah, so I have one Spark card. It's this Anton Hudobin with Swarm and Spark. It's untradeable. I pulled him in one of these random packs that we got. But, um, just statistically, I think the Hellebuck and the Lundqvist are better. So, it's kind of why I have things the way they are. Plus, they both have Barrage and Distributor. My Distributor is active, by the way, so it's fine. You on PlayStation or Xbox? I'm on PlayStation. I want to trade some of my 87 Winter National Ryan Ellis. I really want that Zadina. He goes for around 120k. Yeah, I need I need uh, the Zadina as well. You see, it was snowing in Vancouver today. Really? I just got out of bed, so I wouldn't have seen it. Are the Canucks worse than the Red Wings? I I, I don't know. I don't know. Costa Rica sports fan. What console are you on? PS4. Checking in all the way though from Vancouver. So what's going on, my friend in Costa Rica? Honestly, whoever wins the Canadian Division probably wins the Cup just because of how intense the games already are. Either that or Tampa repeats. That's a very fair uh, um, assessment. Expectation we get destroyed. I didn't see the snow in Vancouver, unfortunately, though, Lincoln. I miss the good old Sedin days. Me too. Lego, how do you activate synergies? You just get several cards that have the same synergy on the card. So this Matthews, for example, has two synergies. It's got Magician and Workhorse. Magician is a synergy that adds four to agility, four to sneaking, and four to puck control. And I have four players who have it active on the team, meaning that it is active. You need a certain amount of uh, points for the synergies on your squad in order to actually activate it. And then the team ones are the ones that affect everybody on the lineup. So I need to get two more for Barrage. I need the St. Louis. I need the Zadina. They both have two Barrage. I'm not counting the Gretzky because the Gretzky is a lone card, but yeah. What when the Derek Strand Stepan trade happened? I was so confused. Lego was your favorite Canucks player of all time, probably Burroughs. I really want that Hellebuck too. The Vassy is overrated. I I've had a good track record with the '86 Vassy man, like the base one. I will say though, Connor Hellebuck in my champs run was absolutely insane. Like this guy was. I won some games in champs that I should not have been even close to winning because of Connor Hellebuck. Speaking about champs, let's go over and see that. You think if someone knows how to play hockey but doesn't know how to skate and start skating at age 15, do you think they can make the pro league? Um, there are a few players, I think, that started really, really late. But I'm not too sure about that, though. 
Beautiful snow in Detroit today, too. That is awesome. What would have happened if the Sedins played one more year? Yeah. Matthew's got a primetime upgrade today. Oh, yeah, he did. Why does your gameplay look so different from the standard? Probably because of the camera angle that I use. I use ice. I don't know anybody else that uses ice. So, yeah. um, Dude, my Hut Champs run was so embarrassing. I started... Look, I'll, I'll show you my uh, my Champs run here. So, we finished it off 12-7-1. Which isn't terrible. 12 7 one's not bad. Too bad. It's not too bad. But look at this, dude. We started off the run... 8 1 and 0. Oh. Like, we started it off, where was it? Over here. So, win, win, loss, win, 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 win. We were 8 1 and 0 oh to start off champs, and then we went like 4 6 and 1 to end off champs, including like, we including a, a regular loss, an overtime loss, three rage quits because we were playing really good players. And then we started to kind of pick it up again, but then we, yeah, like, it was embarrassing, dude. Started off 8-1-0, ended off 12-7-1, so the second half was definitely not great. But we still finished within the top 900, so I'm okay. Again, you know, I'm not I'm not really, like, the biggest uh, hot sweat um, compared to some of the other people here, because I only started playing a few months ago. But, you know, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay, I'll say. Um... Do the Leafs have a chance of winning the Cup? I think every Canadian team in the top four has a chance. I think the Canucks pull an upset tonight. I really think they're going to find their game soon. I hope so. I just think that evaluating Vancouver is tough. Yep. The vision matchup doesn't bode well in like last season. Yep. They aren't built to play against these gritty teams. Just my opinion. I would wait until the year before you burn the team. Really? Okay. All right. I'm hopping off to go watch the Rangers pregame. Good luck to the Canucks. Thank you so much, Riptide. Your, uh, your appreciation is greatly... Um, valued here. Pedersen has seven goal posts. I'm not worried about him. Yeah. What are the rewards for champs? Um, the rewards for champs for me, I believe it's going to be like an elite pack and like something else, a jumbo elite pack or something. I'm not too sure. Let's go ahead and check that out. Why is it taking a long time? Okay. Yeah. Hey Lego, can you give me a shout out? What's going on, Johnny? I'm not going to say the last name because I know what you're talking about, but Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, so my ranking probably will get myself an elite players pack and an elite pack. Hoaglander was pretty good when he got the chance to play some shifts with PD. Miller created some chances where Miller had the puck in, but unfortunately it was offside. Yeah. What area are you in in Vancouver? Because it should be snowing a lot. I'm here in Richmond. It's sunny and not snowing outside. I miss playing Ottawa, bro. It was fun. Me too, Sip. Me too. Chatfield or Yolevi? Um, I like them both. I guess long term I'd say Yolevi, but today I think Chatfield's got a lot more swagger to his game, but I think long term it's definitely Yolevi. Um what else do we need to do? We need to do what is it? Uh complete two games, take twenty shots, twenty hits, complete a set. Okay, let's go do a hut rush game just so we can try to get eleven shots on goal and eighteen hits. So that's gonna be fine. 11 shots and 18 hits. Okay, that's that's what we want to do for Hot Rush. What's John... Uh, I'm not going to explain that, Al. If you want, you can just go ahead and Google that. Not sure if you want to go to Google Images and search that up, but hey, you can go ahead and do that if you please. Yeah, why can't we play Ottawa every game? <laughs> Good evening. What's going on, Jan Schubert? The time in Germany is... Is it midnight? I think that might be true. Jan, let me know. What time is it in Germany over there? Uh, it's snowing over here in North Van. You think 12 is old for starting hockey? Um, well, it depends. If you mean starting hockey, I don't think it's ever too late to start hockey. But if you're saying starting hockey with the intention of making the NHL, I think you might be a bit too late. Which card out of the ones that came out today is the best? Um, you just gotta search by overall. I mean, let's go to NHLHutBuilder.com, see the new cards, the new prime times. Ooh, there's some new uh, um, 94 flashback cards. Morgan Riley, 90 overall. Nugent Hopkins. But if you're asking which new card is the best, probably that 93 overall primetime Austin Matthews. That's a looks like a really good card. Simmons is out for six weeks. Yeah, that is unfortunate. What was our goal again? 11 shots and like 18 hits. So there's two shots right there. Oy. Okay, here we can get the hits. We can get the hits. Is that, did that count? I don't know if that counted. <laughs> that little, like, kind of just, like, rubbing him off the puck there. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Okay. 
Oh, I really thought I could hit that. Oh, nope, we set it up for ourselves. Oh, there we go. We're getting a lot of shots here, guys. That's kind of what we need. Oh, what a hit. What a hit there uh, for Austin Matthews. Oh, that was offside or onside. I'm very surprised about that. Johnny is my doctor. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. I mean, if he's your doctor, what are you, what's going on in your appointments, man? I mean, I'm kind of kind of questioning that. Matthews, 57 goals the last 81 games, bro. Yeah, Matthews is absolutely incredible. I mean, it helps that he's playing Vancouver. It really does help. But, you know, I'd rather see goal scorers out there doing their thing and getting goals than not. So, I'm... You know, I love to see it. As much as Toronto fans can be annoying, you got to appreciate the talent, man. At the end of the day, that's what all this is. It's them clamoring over what is a very, very skilled and talented hockey player. What are you talking about? I'm a pilot. Lankanen for Calder. Oh, yes. He's really good, man. Lankanen for the, uh, the Blackhawks. Definitely doing some pretty good things. We got some good rookie goaltenders in this year's crop of guys. Vanacek from Washington, Lankinen from uh, Chicago. All right, come on. Are there penalties in here? I don't know if there are. I think we might just be able to go around hitting people randomly like that. And then can we get this guy too? I think we can get that guy. Yeah, we can just go around hitting people randomly. That is fine. Okay, go ahead. We need to get uh, 18 body checks. So that's kind of why we're doing this for those who are wondering. Picked a uh, 95 dry sidle. Oh my goodness. Out of the premium upgrade pack, that is a beautiful card, man. I am very jealous. I googled... Uh, okay, yeah, they look like Stavoui. <gasps> Thoughts on the Hawks and is Debrinket having a bounce back season? Oh yeah, Debrinket's been hot this year, man. Doing a lot of really good things out there for the Hawks. We're just kind of like taking out everybody here. It's cool. It's cool, man. Got red bottoms on. Life is good. You know what I mean? Should the Canucks play Louis Erickson on D? I mean, I they already weren't. They, they tr like, Louis Erickson only played like nine minutes in the last game anyway. So something, something in me thinks that Travis Creed isn't really content with using him all too often. So I don't know about D. There we go. We're getting shots here, guys. We need to get 11, something like that. Chocolate milk makes the pain go away. I agree, chocolate milk is great. That dry sidle is cracked. Yeah, it is. Holy. I just searched... Yeah, guys, he looks like One Punch Man. Saitama. Who's your favorite team? The Vancouver Canucks, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, they're my favorite team. What do you think of Hughes playing with Schmidt? I, uh, man, it's tough. It's really tough. Okay, we have 11 shots, so we have our shots. Uh, we already did that. Now for the body checks, did we get 18? We have 13. Okay, so let's just play it into the corner there. And we need to get five more. There's one. There's two. There's three. Uh, there's four. All right, let's get this guy. Oh, there we go. There's five. Now for McDavid. Oh, what a good hit there. Six. Seven. Okay, is that is that enough? Did we get it? Did we get it? Oh, okay, no, we didn't. We need one more. We need one more. Okay, um... Mike Gartner over there. To Connor McDavid. Nah, there's not enough speed there. There we go! Get out of here, buddy! That one counted. Did it count? I don't know. Oh, are we gonna lose? Nah. There we go, Connor Hallibuck. Nice save, bud. Did we get to 18? Let's see. Are NHLers going to be back in the Olympics soon? I hope so. That is, uh, the hope. Oh, that should have been a goal. Come on, Connor McDavid. Debrinket wishes he was Cole Caulfield. I'm a Hughes fan, but Morgan Riley is my favorite. Yeah, Riley's a great player, man. Just not when he's playing Connor McDavid. That, that, that's it. Um, I only like Vancouver because I live here. If I live somewhere else, I could like the home team where I live better. Yeah, me too. I think if I was raised anywhere else, it would be a lot more fun cheering for whatever other team is there than this Vancouver team that has not given us that much to cheer about. Riley, when he's on top of his game, he's low-key a top-five defender. 
I mean, he's really good. I don't know if you'd say, I don't know if I'd say he's top five, but there are a lot of players I think you can say are like that. All right. Um, what do we want to do? Glove side? Yeah, let's go glove side. Let's do that, boys. Let's go. Um, okay, so it looks like we got our uh, hot challenges done. Event objectives? Oh, yeah, no, we're already done. I already have the icon collectible. We don't need to do that anymore. Um, I'm a Leaf fan, with Canucks are for sure my next favorite team. Bill is cool. I like that. Very nice taste. I'm going to move close to the Jets next year. Going to be my second favorite team. Ah, oh, man, that's going to be awesome. Pierre-Luc Dubois, Shifley. Um, bold prediction, Costa says. The Canucks will finish third in the division. That's really bold. That is really bold. Holy. Lego, is there one team you just hate, like with me and the Bruins? Yeah, it's the Bruins. It is the Bruins. Yeah, I'm still not over 2011. Um, you're welcome to jump ship to Detroit. We have fans all over the country. That is awesome, man. In my opinion, there are only three true, three true number one defensemen in the Canadian division. Who? Uh, it would be uh, Nathan Beaulieu, Shea Weber, and Yusuf Alamaki. Is that it? The three number one defensemen in the Canadian division? Let me know. Pedersen is awful in fantasy this year. Yeah, well, if your fantasy is including uh, crossbars and posts, then you should be great. But I don't think there are too many fantasies that are including that. Uh, what do we need to do? Complete a set, right? Yeah, okay. How old are you? I'm 20. Long go the next Can Canucks GM? Oh, that'd be cool. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. I don't know if it's possible. Do you think Montreal will keep up how they're playing, or will they sink again? I, I think a sink is inevitable because they're playing so well, but I think this team just has a lot that they are looking forward towards doing in the next few months that I think they will be a pretty nice uh, contending team. Yeah, we need to complete a set, though. What set can we even do? We can do the Besser set. I still need to get that Braden Holtby for the Besser set here. We have the Gold Collectible, and we have the Besser. We just need the Holtby. Oh, why, why did I do that? Okay. Yeah, why did I do that? Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's go over and just do... Uh, I don't know. What, what can we do? What sets are there that we can do? Are you in college still? No, I graduated... Uh, BCIT Radio Arts with Honors earlier, a year ago. Um, it was actually kind of funny being like, because I, I think I had like the highest GPA or whatever, so I got some like award at the end, which was really cool. Um, are you Nick Robertson's brother? Yeah, people say that all the time. It's Nick Robertson, it's Nick Suzuki, it's Sebastian Ajo. Um, one thing is clear, the Jets, Leafs, and Habs will finish in the top three in the North Division. Let us open our packs. We have a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, you know, if we get something cool, I guess it'll be nice, but, uh, yeah. This right here, this is not really anything, the 94 collectible hut thing. Let's just open a mini pack, and we will see what happens here. Congrats, Lego. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. San Jose Barracuda jersey, Xavier Borgo, Ramuski Oceanic, Jan Ruda, and Mirko Hofflin. Okay, cool. Do you think Byfield gets called up to the NHL this year? Oh, I think it's possible. I really think it's possible. The Kings have such a good Ontario rain system going on right now that I would not be uh, surprised. Hey, isn't this... Don't we need the 61 for the uh, Mark Stone set? Somebody in the chat want to let me know? This is a this is an important uh, number, isn't it? Please, let me know. Um, 20 and done with college. 19 just got started. Hey, that's all good, man. That's all good. Just keep working at it. I was lucky because my uh, my program was only two years long, so it's a little bit misleading, but it's all good. I'm surprised that no one got fired for the Canucks. Leafs play two games against the Habs after this. Yep. Yeah, Lego, yesterday there was a math competition for Canada, USA, and India, and I got first place. I won $50 and a certificate. That is awesome, man. Who else expected a lanky white kid? Yeah, people say that all the time. Every time I make videos with the face, it's always, oh, I thought you were white. Like, I don't know if I, how I should feel about that, but it is. Favorite play-by-play -play announcer? I love John and John, but honestly, I kind of have to go uh, um, Jim Hewson. Just the, the, the classic calls that he had with Vancouver. Great save Luongo and all that. Can we show, it, show the team? Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Oh, we can complete a set right here. 
There we go. Is that a set completed? Yes. Okay, great. There we go. Silver upgrade. Let's do that. Can you show your team? Yeah, I will show the team a little bit after. Have you been to Europe? No, I haven't, but I really want to go. I want to go visit Switzerland, man. Um, because I can't speak Swedish or Finnish or whatever, like, of course, of course I can't, but I did learn French, so, uh, um, speaking French in Switzerland sounds very nice to me. Uh... Uh, je peux comprendre un peu de français, mais je ne pense pas que um, uh, mon français est très bon. Mais yeah, c'est comme ci, comme ça. All right. All right, we did our daily objectives. Let's just open up that one last pack, and then we'll show off the team here. We've got 15 minutes to game time anyway. We've got a lot of time. Houston is good, so are John and John. Yeah. The Rain played their first game Saturday, and Byfield looked like an absolute force. Yeah, he did. He got an assist, didn't he? I'm pretty sure he's got some points out there, too. Uh, Houston is good, so are John and John. Thoughts on the Devils. I like the Devils. Very much like uh, the guys that they do have. Here we go. Gold player reroll. See if we get uh, lucky today. Uh, no, we didn't. Neil Pionk. Okay, that's a great card. That's a very good hockey player. What's your ethnicity? I am full Filipino. Uh, Super Zed. By the way, you were the only one who guessed about Hughes' first year, so GG. What did I, uh... What did I guess about Hughes? I said that Hughes is going to be great or whatever after that bad first year. Thoughts on Cole Lynn's season so far? Oh, he's great. Very good. What happened to Jim Hewson? Um, he was really good, so they moved him to Toronto so he could do the Leafs games full-time. That, that's what happened with Jim Hewson. You're low-key better than 25% of Montreal at French? Really? That's a very big compliment. I don't know if that's true or not, but, uh... Yeah, considering that I only spoke French in French class, which was only, like, once... Or, like, for... An, how, even, how even long were classes in high school? Like, just one class worth of time, like, a day per semester for a few years. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and do these icons. Again, I'm doing the icons because I need to get my Howie upgraded. Um, I am one icon collectible away from getting our Howie from 86 to 91. If we go over and check that out, take a look at it over here. Uh, I, I just, I really want to get this Howie, man. We're so close. One icon away to getting a 91 overall second line center. That's so good. I know, but is Houston not doing games this year? Oh no, he did. He did, um... He did the great save by Demko a few days ago for the Leafs. As I'm not from Canada, I don't know, but is hockey as big there as soccer is to the rest of the world? Oh, hockey is huge here in Canada, man. Lego, did you enjoy the snow today? I did not see the snow, man. I'm here in Richmond. Kings are protecting their young players. What did you think of the Super Bowl? I didn't see anything of the Super Bowl aside from the weekend. That's the only thing I saw of uh, the Super Bowl. Um, the people in the West Island can't speak it. Oh, are we talking about French? Maxime Lapierre? My brother played for the Aldergrave Kodiaks. His last name is Melanson. I might have been, I might have commentated on one of his games then. I was the Richmond Sockeyes guy last year, so I'm not sure. Uh, I try to have conversations in them in French. It just doesn't work. Lego, I saw your stature video today. It hurts. It really does. It really hurts. Yeah, it really does hurt. Um, Cuthbert and Randorf are my faves. Really, Al? Really? <laughs> I know it's because you live in Alberta, but man. As, uh, I certainly would not... I, I, w there, I respect the talent. I respect the, uh, you know, the capabilities those guys have. But I would not agree. Just because I have my own preference, preferences too. Who should Vancouver expose in the expansion draft? They're probably going to expose Holtby. Might lose Holtby, to be honest. Who should Vancouver... Yeah. You said Hughes would get 30 points while everyone said he would break 50. Oh, I said that for predicting Hughes' first season? No way. Did I say that? Hey, if I said that, then pats on the back to me. Good job, me. Super Zed, we love Stetcher. Yeah, Stetcher is great, man. 
Um, Detroit fans have been really clamoring in like my comments and the Instagram comments and the Reddit threads, just how good Stetcher has been. And you know, I, you love to see it. Stetcher, heart and soul guy. I said this in the video earlier, but yeah, he's a very, very hardworking player. And, you know, there's just so much to appreciate about what he brings out there on the ice. Um, hi Lego, hope you're well. Thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate that. You too, man. Uh, I like Houston a lot, too. My favorite play-by-play -play is the Benino, Benino, Benino voice. Hunter Ryan Singh, man. Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty good. Kudoba was late to practice, so he got benched. Oh, man. Matthews leads the league in goals. I used to be so excited to watch Canucks games. The, that excitement has disappeared with the performance of this team. Yeah, it really has. Why is Godet not playing well? Is he being a hockey god all hype? I think he was playing all right. It's just that he wasn't burying the many chances that he got. But the fact that he was out there getting those chances was like, it's a positive sign in my opinion. Pod Colson update. He's actually been pretty good. I've been kind of neglecting Pod Colson because there have been bigger stories in Canuckland to cover, but Pod Colson's doing really well, actually. He was just great in the Ozone, but defensively, he's Marines and Caliper. <laughs> Here, yeah, this is the Stutzla card that I sold for sixty nine sixty nine, because some guy out there actually bought it for that price for some reason, even though it's only 83 overall. I miss the Capitals, Holby, but because of him, I'm a Canucks fan. That is great. Randolph caught some of the best Canucks games, Bester's Hattrick, and a few others, if I recall correctly. Oh, man, look at this. This is going for 100k. I bought mine for 150. Some of these are going for pretty cheap, though. 135... 100k flat. Darn. Kind of missed out on that. Uh, let's go see the cards that I want to buy. So, I do need to get... Uh, not the Samuel Malton Bowl. No. Philip Zanina. Yeah. So, I do need this card. There are three in the market right now. 138k. That's not bad. That's not a bad price. Watch Matthew score 50 and 50. Yeah. You were the only guy that brought up the logistical issues. He was 18, 5, 10, 160 pounds, coming from the USA Under-18 League, and we're right about his first season, so GG. Thank you so much, uh, Will. I appreciate that. I didn't see that, or I don't remember saying that, but you know what? If it's a take that I made, I'll, I'll take it. I need to buy this card, but I don't have enough co um, pucks. Coins. Coins? Coins. That's what it is, yeah. I need 100k more coins, but whatever. Um, we'll save up, and we'll buy it later. Same thing with the... Uh, the Winter National Dry Cycle. This one's going for oh wow, the price increased. It was like 180k earlier. Now it's 200. Okay, we're gonna have to work for that one. And then the last card we do need to buy Master Icons. Uh, where is it? Barrage. And then oh, let's just do Left Wing. Oh no, not that. Left Wing. Oh no, Right Wing. Right Wing. Never mind. Yeah, so St. Louis, um, 384k, 140k, 135k, like, yeah. Like, I don't know if I want to buy a St. Louis and just to, tr like, an 86 St. Louis just to trade him up or to just buy this, but, like, I know if I buy, like, this card, like, I'm gonna have to work really, really hard. Like, 380 co 80k coins is a lot. I wouldn't be able to get that in a short amount of time, but I do need this card, though, so I'm not sure. Might just have to get, like, an 86 Icons pack and, like, try to pull for a St. Louis that's untradeable so I don't lose any monetary value, but I don't know. Why are you a Habs fan, though? Um, Because when I was at BCIT, I had a lot of classmates that were also Habs fans, and we just talk Habs, and, like, whenever I would make videos about the Habs, they got a lot of very positive reception, reception so it, it caused me to make more Habs videos, and as we talked about the Habs a lot more, I just kind of started liking the team. Draft Luke Hughes, then trade Pedersen for Jack Hughes. I miss Luongo. I still remember his four overtime game with 72 saves. Most amazing game I ever watched, and I'm not a Canucks fan. Yeah, that was great, man. I wasn't a hockey fan back then, but man... Did you open packs? If you did, what did you get? I had to go somewhere. Sorry, I wasn't at the most of the stream. EP40, we did not get anybody. We got AHL players, and, uh, yeah. Um, what number do you pick, do you think, or what number pick do you think we will get in the 2021 draft? Um, I would not be surprised if we ended up with the top seven pick. I have Luongo's Valdor Quebec rookie card signed by him in juniors. I don't know why, but I knew him in junior. He would, ama he would be amazing. That is great, man. Yeah. 
How much does that Austin Matthews card that you pulled cost? Um, it costs about like 200k, but mine is untradeable, so I I couldn't get 200k if I wanted to. Um, if we go over, where is it? Uh, here, European Hockey Club, position center, and yeah. So yeah, so there are a few in the market. The cheapest one is 265,000 coins. But yeah, mine is untradeable, so I couldn't put it up if I wanted to. You got Jan Ruda. Yeah, we did get Jan Ruda. Well, I need to go do some homework. It was fun chilling with you. I'll be back for more of these live streams. I appreciate that, Super. Thank you. Do you think Ty Smith will keep up his production? I, I do. I, I think Ty Smith is so good. He's going to have a very good career in New Jersey. Should betting be fired? Uh, no comment, but um, I think you can kind of fill in the blanks as to what I think there. Um, but yeah, guys, we have a hundred or excuse me, 85 beautiful people over here checking out the stream. I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you for hanging out here. If you haven't already, click like on the video. It helps out a ton. Also, subscribe if you're new as well. We are on the road to 23,750 subs. We're about 400-ish away. So if you feel like you see value in the content that we make here, then feel free to subscribe. Also, check out the channel as well because we upload videos every single day about different NHL topics. Nice commentaries on news, prospects, trades, rumors, all that stuff. All the hearsay around the league. Let's go over and uh, cover it here on the channel. So yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with us here. Um, thanks to the All-Canadian Division will be the real reason the Canadian rivalries come back to hockey. Now it's more exciting to watch. I kind of agree, yeah. Lego, I kind of think Hughes got robbed off the Calder by Makar. Me too. I think that Hughes' impact to the Canucks was a lot more stronger than Makar's impact to the Avalanche, but at the end of the day, points per game is kind of what matters there for most people who are voting. But I'm going to go watch the Canucks versus the Leafs. That's all good, Samarth. Canucks have a big win. They're going to have a big win, hopefully. Honestly, it might be better for the Canucks to bottom out this season. Rank the Canadian teams on forward depth? Oh, that's tough. I don't know if I can do that off the top of my head. If the Canucks don't have a big game and the management and the coaches should be scared for their jobs, yep. Does anyone know any websites that have no delay to watch the Canucks game? You think McDavid will get traded soon? I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know, yeah. Bennett isn't going to get traded. He's going to play on the first line. What games do you play Lego beside NHL 21? Here. Um, I've been playing a lot of uh, Cold War lately just because the zombies are pretty fun. Kind of, I'm kind of itchy to doing that. Makar has a better defense on his own. This year really shows how valuable Tanev was for Hughes. Yeah, Tanev was really valuable for Hughes. Kachuk is getting a lot of hate right now. Yeah, he is. He is. By the way, props to anybody who like recognizes what my uh, background screen even is here for uh, the PlayStation. I don't know anybody out there who would actually recognize what this is, but if you do, then please let me know. But, uh, yeah, you know, what even is there that we can do now? Let's just take a look at the squad battle teams. Oh, this guy's got a pretty good team. Oh, boy. That's a great team. But he's got a lot of sins active, I think. Uh, synergies. I'm talking about synergies. Yeah, not the... Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Remember when you played Fall Guys on the hype streams? Yeah, I remember that. Is that anime? Um, yeah, I guess so. Who else got the PS5 from Costco? I got a PS5 today. Lego, are you planning to get a PS5? I still remember er, um, what the plan was originally. It was like kind of try to just scope out the market. I haven't really been able to get one soon or yet, but I will get one eventually. 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 Thing is, though, I don't really... I'm not really in like the most desire or... Um, huge position to need it at the moment, so we're kind of okay on that front, but yeah. I still remember your voice from five years ago. <laughs> hey, me too, man. Mod on the IR. Uh, yeah, I know. It's t it's tough. Um, Did you play ice hockey, and if so, which position did not play ice hockey? No, I played regular floor hockey, but uh, 
But yeah, I was defense. Actually, I was both. I was, I was right defense and left wing. I was both of them. Is God's playing at Tyler Mott's place today? Would not be surprised if he did. Say hi to my friend Paula Tejano. What's going on? I say 3-2 Leafs to Vera scores twice. Vera Banov once. That's really specific. Oh, bad. However, though, it does appear that we might have to end off the stream here just because it is 3.59 already. The game is going to start in a little bit, so we're going to wrap things up here. Guys, if the Canucks absolutely crap the bed again, then you know I'm going to be here with a funny video later after the game. But yeah, I'm going to watch the game now. Um, to those of you who are still here, thank you so much for hanging out with us, guys. Uh, everybody here in the chat, you know, Braden EP40 will end gaming. Johnny EP40 has zest. Uh, Prince, NHL Canucks, ND35. Guys, thank you so much here for hanging out with us on this chill hype stream. Hopefully the Canucks show off something a little bit better, but I'm not really counting on it. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us here. We're going to end off the stream and uh, just, you know, watch the game now normally. So yeah. Have a great night, man. Yeah, you too, Will. You too. Everybody in here, 80, 88 beautiful people here checking out. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Let's all have a good time watching the game. Social Trolls 99. And bye.